Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and it's Monday, so that means Mac Tip Monday. It's been some time since I've done a Mac Tip Monday, and thanks to you, I'm bringing it back. I get a lot of people requesting that I bring back Mac Tip Monday, so here is a Mac Tip Monday for you. Now this actually has, this particular Monday, we have two different tips for you. One of them is for Safari. I'll open Safari up and this is the latest version of Safari, Safari 6.0 on Mountain Lion. And what Safari has done is add a search slash address bar and combine those and there's some other new features as well. But one of the things that's new is if we go to Safari and preferences, we can go to privacy. You can see I'm already clicked on it. And what we have here is some options that weren't in the previous version. And those options fall down in this part here, and it's limit website access to location services. So we can prompt each for each website once each day, or one time only, or deny without prompting. We have that option. And the newer options here are for website tracking. We can ask websites to not track me. That means they won't use a tracking cookie and they won't track you is what you're doing throughout the web uh, for their website, things like that. For their statistics is what they use it for, uh, but they won't track you if you ask them not to. As far as web search, this is also something that's new. It's prevent search engines from providing suggestions. So, you know, when you go into Google now, uh, most of the time you can type. So if I'm searching for Zolo tech, it will bring up things with the word Zolo in it. If I go ahead and type Zolo, you can see it's giving me suggestions, uh, YouTube logins, things like that. It's asking me or suggesting to me what it might think that I want to use. Well, if I don't want to see that anymore, I can simply click here and now the suggestions will go away and the Google search suggestions go away. My bookmarks in history won't, but normally it'll suggest here. You can type N gadget and I do have bookmarks, but anything other than that web search engines will not suggest. And if you don't want that, you can check or uncheck it, but it's something new and hopefully will help you out. My other tip for today is pretty simple. And it's something I didn't know about until I heard it on a podcast. I thought it was a great tip, and hopefully you do too. But one of these things that I just didn't know about that existed in even previous versions of OS X, what we want to do is hold Option on our keyboard, and we can hit Volume, and we'll go right to that preference for Volume. You can see here is my Scarlett 2i2. This is what I'm speaking through my microphone through. It's kind of a preamp, and it does a great job, and you can see I'm speaking here to you now. And if I want to go to, say, display settings, I can hold option again on my keyboard, hit the brightness up, and I'll go to display settings. This works across all the different functions on the top of your keyboard. So I think you get the picture, but if I go here, I go to options, and I hit my keyboard brightness, it switches to the keyboard shortcuts. Again, I can go back and forth, expose settings or mission control in this case. It's really simple, really easy. It's a quick way to get to those preferences if you just can't remember where they are or you want to adjust something specifically related to that. I thought it was a great, uh, great thing I just didn't know about in OS X. So uh, hopefully that helps you out. And with the other Mac Tip Mondays, I also like to suggest a piece of software. One of the pieces of software that I thought is pretty handy, it's a utility, it's called iBoost Up. It's in the App Store, it's free, and there's a pro paid version. The free version seems to do everything I would want it to do. Let me open it up here for you. Actually, let me type it this way. We'll open it up, and here you can see what build MacBook Pro I'm using, the uh, quad core i7, which actually shows as eight cores because of hyper-threading. Here we have eight gigs of RAM, a 256 gig solid state drive, and it's showing me all these different statistics about my, my MacBook. If I want to clean up things, I can do that on the left here with Quick Clean. We can clean the System Log Cleaner, Firefox Browser, Chrome Browser, all these different things that may be installed. It will clean out for you. There's optimizers, there's security, and it's a pretty comprehensive utility, and it's nice since it's free. I haven't used the Pro version. Uh, I have to admit, I haven't used that because I found this kind of does everything I want it to do anyway. But if there is a reason, maybe I should check it out, or maybe you have a suggestion and you've used it and you bought the Pro version, please comment below with that. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to think. Now, if you're using a different application for a similar reason, please go ahead and comment below on that as well. I'd love to hear what you're using and why you think it's better if you have anything along those lines. 
Also, if you have any other tips, we can suggest those or that you could suggest and I could give to other viewers of this channel on the following Monday. I'll give you credit. If you have a great tip, please go ahead and place that in the comments below. If I pick your name, I'll let you know and uh, credit you, of course, with that. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.